Psalm 24, verses 1 through 10. Psalm 22 points to our Lord's grace in dying for us, and Psalm 23 explains His goodness in caring for us. This psalm, Psalm 24, reveals His glory in coming for us. There is glory in God's creation. These verses remind you of Psalms 8 and 19. The world today is in travail because of sin, but the Creator will one day set His creation free. There is glory in salvation. Psalm 15 is a parallel, and both passages emphasize the fact that nobody but the Lord Jesus Christ can meet God's qualifications to live in His holy place. We are all like Jacob, but He is the God of Jacob and will forgive us and let us live with Him forever. Your shepherd is the King of glory. Psalm 24, verses 1 through 10, the Psalm of David. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to Him. For He laid the earth's foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean depths. Who may climb the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in His holy place? Only those whose hands and hearts are pure, and who do not worship idols and never tell lies. They will receive the Lord's blessing, and have right standing with God their Savior. They alone may enter God's presence and worship the God of Israel. Open up, ancient gates! Open up, ancient doors! And let the King of glory enter. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, invincible in battle. Open up ancient gates. Open up ancient doors. And let the King of glory enter. Who is the King of glory? The Lord Almighty. He is the King of glory.